Wow, it has been less than two weeks and this channel has gotten over a thousand views and more than 30 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm so psyched. I can't wait for what's to come. I've set a goal that I want to reach a thousand subscribers and get partnered with YouTube by 2023. So if you're watching this and could help me reach that goal by hitting a sub button below, a like on the video of course helps, that's what they say anyways. I'm new to this. I'd appreciate it. Anyways, let's jump in. Today's video is a combat video and I'm super psyched about it. First combat video. Um, I'm gonna show it to you guys, but real quick, let me show off one upgrade we've made to the stream. I don't wanna forget this. Bang, we've updated our audio equipment. I did get a comment on a video that uh, my Steel Series mic over here made his ears hurt and I don't blame him. The audio did kind of suck. So here we are. Upgraded, ready to go. I'm already getting memed on and people are calling this the Joe Rogan mic. I started it, but hey, it works, I hope. Let me know if it does. How's the audio? So for today's combat guide, we're gonna look at a level 19 wood side. We're gonna use this wood side as the training grounds to explore some of the combat mechanics in the game. And I'm also gonna show you how to take it using T2 troops. Caveat, I am using this army here that has one mil power, just real quick, this is the setup. He's got a catapult, which as you'll see, isn't gonna be so necessary. Some swordsmen in front that are going to tank and then some lancers that are gonna charge the gate. All right, so how does this work? What's this strategy look like? First thing we wanna do is examine this city and take a look at some of the puzzles or obstacles that we're gonna to have to negotiate. The first thing you do when you look at a city is you look at where the gate is because there can be more than one entrance to a city, but this one only has one entrance. And based on where the nearest entrance is, that is where all your ground troops are going to charge first. That's how the AI is programmed. So when I say ground troops, I mean your swordsmen and your long range units. The units that will also path to the gate are cavalry. One type of unit will not necessarily pack to the gate, which is certain siege units, and we're gonna explore that. But just to look at the gate here and where it's situated, it's right here in front, and if you look around, there is no other gates. I did wanna point out uh, the doors on the towers because foot soldiers like swordsmen and rangers, but not horsemen and cavalry for these tower doors, uh, just the footmen, like soldiers, the swordsmen and axemen, the crossbows and the bowmen, they can enter these doors in these towers if they're facing the outside. But as you can see, this door is facing inside. So this is not a weak point. None of our foot soldiers can get in here. And then as we finish the perimeter here, again, we see some more inward facing tower doors. Uh, but yes, just one gate. So we're gonna have to enter this way. And if you see, this is a dangerous entrance. We've got four bowmen sitting right here, a fifth up here. You might get some of the attention of these two bowmen in the Northwest. You've got a cavalry unit sitting right up front, and then you're gonna aggro the axemen to the West and the axemen to the East. If you look at the Northwest, it is woefully unguarded. Wouldn't it be nice if you could, instead of entering from this front gate, enter through the back entrance? And the answer is that yes, you would like to do that, and yes, it's possible. And let's take a look at how that strategy works. So as we do this, I'm gonna review a lot of the different combat mechanics in the game, so you can stop, pause, rewind, uh, because there's gonna be a lot in here. So first things first, let's begin our attack. Right when the attack begins, you get a timer, and you have to use that timer to place your army. So the first thing you can do is click this white flag, and that unlocks the ability for you to place your army anywhere on the map. So the first thing we want to do is get that army to that weak point, which is going to be right about here. So let's get that flag. So these white arrows are pointing right where we want our army to go. And you'll notice, eh, there we go. Some of these arrows, the siege arrows, are pointing at the wall. That's because siege units can attack walls. To place some siege units so that they're all going the same direction, I don't want some siege here and some siege here, I can click on the catapults and move them here, and then click on the ballistas and move them here. And now they're all gonna point in that direction. Well, they're not liking it. Uh, some, some of them are not, but 
you can see the foot soldiers are all trying to go around to the side and that's because they're trying to charge the gate so right when this starts i want to hold all holding all will just make everyone chill and we want to one by one take just our siege units and advance them this ballista is going to target and there you go because i have just the ballista selected it's showing you this red target it's going to target this wall once this wall is down the pathing of the other foot soldiers is going to change if i were to advance these guys right now go ahead and watch what happens they're going to start to try and go around to that gate we don't want that we want them to go through this wall now this catapult can also siege so let's advance it and see where it goes and you can see same red circle the catapult has a lower range so it's going to try and get closer so it doesn't stop and shoot where that ballista is it's going for that lower range and boom that's down let's stop this guy hold him we'll let this ballista continue to advance and now when we advance this unit this swordsman now that this wall is down he's going to go through the entrance that was just created by the ballista and same with the other swordsmen and same with the horsemen we'll advance them and right when they get there we want to hold because we don't want them to do anything crazy we want to get this final wall down and look at this we're coming in through these walls and we're ignoring all of this aggro now the swordsmen were just there for protection if we did accidentally aggro something the swordsmen would have been able to protect our siege if your siege is caught out in the open it will get obliterated by any unit but here we go the gate to the keep is now open we will send our swordsmen in and here we'll see why they're useful we want swordsmen first the swordsman job is to draw aggro once the swordsmen go in to draw the aggro We'll send in the horsemen, and the horsemen are really good at powering down a gate. So in go the swordsmen, and the swordsmen are drawing the fire of this arrow here. The swordsmen are aggroing the axemen here. We don't really care what the siege is doing anymore. This battle's already won. We're just waiting for these horsemen to charge into the gate. Swordsmen might get the gate down on their own before the horsemen even get there. and boom there's the gate done easy i hope you learned a lot from that it's quick it's easy but it was pretty dense so if you have questions go ahead ask comment uh please again help me with this sub goal i would love to get to the thousand subs by at least 2023 that'd be amazing to hit that youtube partnership and with that we'll call it a video remember to stay hydrated and game on cheers